Chikumo Kenwa is the CEO of Leeds Network. He joins me on the news at 7 for more on this development. We're yet to hear from the CBN and the federal government as regards the Supreme Court ruling. Um, having the old notes back into the economy, do you think it's going to be difficult um, to achieve? As a matter of fact, um, I would say that many Nigerians still have the old currencies. And all that is being awaited is to hear from the horse's mouth, to hear from Mr. President through the CBN uh, of its intention to comply with the directive of the Supreme Court. And that is reasonably expected. You know, news filtered in weeks ago about the possibility of all these old notes being burnt. The Kaduna state governor was quoted to have said he doesn't buy um, that particular position of the CBN. But weeks after Naira has been confiscated, if I'm to use the language of some politicians, is it so difficult to improve on the online platform, which is perhaps the only alternative for Nigerians now who do not have access to cash? Well, a lot of investment is required to do that. And uh, the fact remains that in the CBN's uh, interest to advance this policy of Naira redesign, most of these things were not really contemplated, looking at like the, the capacity of the fintech and other fintech alternatives to actually deliver on the needs of the citizens. And at this particular moment, trying to like widen that scope within the, the shortest possible time uh, would almost be impossible. Uh, like we see like the challenges with that of the the CBN making cash available. It's almost as difficult and as challenging as that. So enough time is actually needed to, you know, to reach out and to the citizens appropriately. You know, apart from vote buying and the largely reported politics behind this policy, CBN also talked about um, how it will impact on the economy, uh, particularly inflation, and also talking about um, counterfeits and the rest. How much of economic impact has this policy had on Nigerians and the Nigerian economy? I would say largely that uh, the CBN did not really look at the whole policy clearly, making all of the necessary steps, putting it into, into play to ensure that the level of hardship that we experience by citizens do not happen. Because no matter how good, how the great intentions uh, you know, the, the CBN governor may have had, looking at the impact on the citizens now, what would wonder that the government actually contemplate this? And I want to give an instance. Like after about over two months of the policy, the CBN came to like say, okay, they have been able to pump in about 126 billion into the system. From my calculation, if you share every citizen one 1,000, if with an estimate of 200 million citizens, that money cannot go around if you share one 1,000, because one 1,000 daily spending, you need about 200 billion naira to satisfy that. So that is much, very short, and also considering the fact that we've not got all of the capacities to manage the pressures that are currently on all the USSDs, the app, and all the rest. So all of this is a great challenge to us at the moment. You know, Mr. President's reaction after the initial Supreme Court ruling was to released the 200 naira notes back into the economy. Are you optimistic that the federal government this time will obey the Supreme Court judgment? Uh, well, uh, judging from the past, uh, uh, I'm somehow like uh, left in between, like many citizens, because what would have even expected is that after that judgment, the Supreme Court did not say 200 naira only. The Supreme Court made it very clear that all of the bank currency still remains legal tender. And that should be what actually makes us a nation is the fact that, yes, when there are disputes and there are challenges, when the ACPES court takes a position, a lawful society, a lawful nation should be able to comply. And that means there is rule of law in that particular nation. Because even the president, for his position to be validated, it's validated by the law. So when you obey the law, what you are saying is that we are a nation and it's actually on the powers of those nations and the constitution that you took the decisions that have been issued. 
You know, you just wonder if millions of unbanked Nigerians will be able to trust the banking system, uh, seeing the turns of events in the previous uh, uh, weeks and months leading to where we are now. But it's a good place to live it. Chuku Maokenwa is the CEO of Leeds Network. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on the News at 7. Thank you.